Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to transfer all of your data from your Windows laptop or PC to your Mac. Okay, before we start with the tutorial, let's talk about a few prerequisites you need to have first. Number one, make sure your PC and Windows are both connected to power. Number two, we need to have the username and password of the administrator account on our PC. These are probably the same credentials that you use to log into your PC. Next, make sure the Mac and the PC are near each other. Let's also make sure that they are on the same Wi-Fi network. Before we get started with the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, once we've done that, let's go to apple.com slash migrate dash to dash Mac, and let's hit enter. And then we're gonna click this link that says download and install Windows Migration Assistant 3. Let's click download. All right, the EXE has finished downloading, so I'm gonna double click it to open it up. Let's hit next here, and I will accept the license agreement and I'll press install. All right, let's click yes on this pop-up. and we'll click finish. I'll hit quit on this pop-up. Now, if the app doesn't automatically open, we can hit the start menu and let's type in migration. We'll see Windows Migration Assistant and we'll open that up. Let's hit continue. We'll press okay on this pop-up and let's again hit continue here. We have a suggestion to turn off Windows updates automatically. And if you wanna do that, you can go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna hit continue again. Here I'll select don't send. This is up to your preference. All right, now it's gonna ask us to enter the code displayed on our Mac. Okay, now let's go ahead and move over to the Mac and start with these steps on there. All right, so once we're on the Mac, let's go up to our spotlight. And here we're gonna also type in Migration Assistant. With this prompt, we can go ahead and hit continue. Here we're prompted for our administrator password on our Mac this time. And again, this is often gonna be your main password that you use to log in. Let's go ahead and wait just a moment for this to load. And on this page, we're gonna select from a Windows PC. All right, let's hit continue. And now we're gonna take this code here and we're gonna enter it on the PC. Now back on my PC, I'm gonna hit continue. Here we're getting prompted to let Windows and apps access our location. For this, we will need to hit yes. All right guys, so the PC has found the Mac and it's automatically going to pull in the transferable data. And here we can actually select what we do or do not wish to keep. I could unselect everything by unchecking the users at the top. And then maybe I just wanna bring over my music and my documents folder. One of the benefits to using Migration Assistant is we can easily migrate our contacts. And once you've carefully selected all of the data that you do wanna go ahead and transfer, we're gonna press continue. Here we're prompted to create a secure password for each admin account that we wish to migrate. Let's go ahead and enter that password and we'll need to enter it twice. Okay, let's press continue. Here we can select authorize. Let's type in again that password that we just set and we'll press continue. Now on both my PC and the Mac, it says transferring your information. We're gonna let this load and then we'll come back. All right guys, so the migration is complete and now we're gonna go ahead and hit the restart now button. All right guys, so we have successfully transferred all of the desired transferable data from my PC to my Mac. Migration Assistant can be a very helpful tool for this process. We did wanna quickly run through alternative methods in case for some reason you're having issue with Migration Assistant or maybe you're on an older Mac or whatever the case may be. The more manual and traditional method would be to use an external drive to manually copy the files to the drive and then copy the files from the drive to your Mac. So for example, I have here a Samsung T7 Shield. This is a two terabyte external SSD. I can simply plug this into my Windows machine and I can copy over the desired folders or documents that I wanna transfer. And then I can do the same thing to my Mac. If you have a new drive and you format this in XFAT, it will work on both Windows and PC. And although it's a little bit more tedious, you can go into your contacts. For example, you can export your Outlook contacts to a CSV and you can upload all of that data onto your Mac and slowly but surely you can actually copy all of your data that way. We're planning to release videos later this month and we're gonna show you how to export your Gmail contacts as well as your Outlook contacts. And so if you wanna see more specific tutorials about how to transfer data from Windows to Mac or vice versa, let us know in the comments below. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any ideas that you'd like to see covered, we encourage you to drop those in the comments as well. 
Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.